Okay, so we're at um, we're down the boat ramp. The probably at the most exciting part of any boat build is um, is our first water test. So this is a prop test. There's lots of things that we're testing here. We're going to make sure that the um, that the boat handles well. We're trying to get max RPM with good speed. So we've got a 15 pitch prop on now. If this is going to be, you know, this will allow us to work out whether okay we're reaching 5800 or whether we need to drop it back and you know drop the revs and, and get more speed. So. Um, it's pretty exciting, you know, we're going to test to make sure the motor doesn't cavitate, uh, make sure the boat rides well, make sure it turns well. It's um, like any new boat build, you, it's, it's always up in the air, so hopefully, fingers crossed, all our hard work has, um, has paid off and we get a chance to get it in the water. You know, it gives us, also gives us a chance to check the trailer, um, you know, make sure that the, the trailer drives on right and it just basically does its thing. So, tow is really good, no problems there. Like I say, first chance of um, trying the big Merc. Hopefully as good as what they all say. So this is a prop. We've just got like a test prop here at the moment. <clears throat> just a demo prop. Just to, um, just like I say, we'll take you guys with us and see out in the water. All right, so we're just gonna fire the new Merc up. I have not heard it before. James reckons it's a go, so we'll suss it out. Ready and quiet. That's mint. That is cool. All right, so far so good. That is smooth, mate. She's um not even moving. Oh well. What do you reckon, James? Get her in the water, eh? Yeah, mate. Yeah, we'll give it a go. Yeah, looking forward to it. See what speed, see what we can get out of it, revs wise and speed wise, and yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll hopefully we'll push well into the 30 knot range today, and hopefully we'll find get you know get close to that 5800 RPM. But with these new Mercs, it's what we come to expect. The 3.4 litre V6s, they're, they're, they're everything you want in an outboard. Smooth, yep. quiet, fuel efficient. We get used to it, and we love seeing the customer get used to it as well. So yeah, we'll get in and give it a go. Awesome. All right, let's do it. So um, just pulled out of the marina, we're just heading into the estuary to do some speed tests. My initial thought of the Merc is, um, is it's quiet, no vibrations, um, yeah, really happy. We'll tell when we get a, get a bit of speed up and a bit of RPM, but yeah, so far so good. Yeah, so uh, we're running the two Simrad Go Nines. We've got the one kilowatt transducer on the um, on the sounder, and um, we're running the broadband transducer three and one on the other one. But mainly as a uh, mainly as a map. We're um, yeah, we're running the um, the Navionics card. So uh, yeah, happy days. We've just ordered the new uh, what, what's that one? The new C um, map reveal. C map reveal. Yeah, yeah. So that's supposed to be the, the latest. Latest and greatest, so um, that'll be here in about a week. So we'll stick that in and see how it goes. Yeah. Bit of a look at the dash layout. Here you go, boys. Here you go. Here you go. Here you go. Here you go. 
Okay, so with our first testing, we've got a max speed of 35 knots um, at you know a bit over 5800 RPM. So the plan is now we're going to go back. Uh, it is cavitating a little bit, so we're going to drop the motor one hole. We're going to um, go with the 16 pitch prop, and um, yeah, should pick up maybe another one or two knots and just keep that RPM down. And um, but apart from that, so stoked with it. Quiet. Um, probably half as quiet as a Suzuki, or oh, sorry, twice as quiet as a Suzuki. We can cruise along at you know 4,500 RPM and, and hear ourselves talk. Could not do that in the Zook, so big tick for Merck there. Um, yeah, so we're just going to do a whole shot test now, just to show you guys. Um, whole shot, we're going to do a fuel burn test as well, so you can see we're getting about. What was that, James? What we're getting 1. about? 1.6, 1.5, 1.6, yeah. around 44, 4500 RPM, which we're very happy with. It's about 26 knots. Yeah, about 26, 26 knots. knots. As I was saying before, like if you, if, you, if you stick with that, the 250 litre tank is it? 285. 285 litre yeah. tank, you're getting well into the 400, 400 kilometre range. Um, you know, you know, it's a 7 metre boat. 6.8, yeah. 6.8 metre boat, that's, that's mint. You know, that's, that's, that's good stuff, that's good going. Awesome. So yeah, we'll, uh, we'll do a whole shot and see how we go. Okay, so just going to give you a bit of a recap on my very first initial thoughts of the setup. So we'll start with the trailer. Um, drive on trailer, went on perfectly. Nice and straight, um, can't fault it. Absolutely spot on, 100%. So that was, um, that was really good. It's always a bit of a worry when you first build a trailer, how it's going to, how you're going to um, unload it, how it unloads and how it loads. But yeah, absolutely spot on, can't complain. Um, the boat handled awesome super stable I, I, I reckon it's probably easily as stable if not a bit more stable than the big boat um, the big boat had the big um, center console a uh, center, center cabin so probably a bit more top heavy but it, um, it handled really well we went out in the ocean although it's pretty calm you can tell that it's um there's going to be a nice nice sort of soft riding hull um, yeah spot on 10 out of 10 for the hull as usual which you'd expect from oceanic fabrication they've um They've got a good name and they're booked out, you know, 10 months in advance for a reason. Um, motor, so far, being a, um, being a bit of a, a Merc hater previously, cannot fault it. Quieter than the Suzuki, smoother than the Suzuki. Uh, fuel fuel burn was was probably what we expected. Although um, we are going to lift them, uh, drop the motor down one hole, so it cavitated a bit under like high speed turns. We put it on the highest hole thinking that, you know, we're probably going to move it down. But yeah, now we, we've done it, we definitely need to move it down one hole. And just to change that prop from a 15 pitch to a 16 pitch. So it got to like 35 and a half, even the way back then, 36 knots. But 
it's getting to that high 5800 too quickly. So um, we're going to have it so we want it to want it to drop around the 57, 5750, and pick up probably one or two knots with a 16, 16 pitch prop. So yeah, first initial impressions on the setup is wicked, 10 out of 10. So uh, yeah, we're going to we're going to go back to um, manned outboards now get the motor dropped so we can use it this weekend but yeah could not be more happy with it it's spot on 10 out of 10 cheers guys